Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Bronislava. I have a blog, handmade rukodielky with lots of patterns in there. So uh, below the video, you can go and find the link. All right. And as you see today, we are going to be making a summer blouse. Now, if you would like to make this blouse a little wider, you can add two repeats in the front, one for each side, or you can add stitches in the back. You know, I would go and always add a even number of stitches. For example, if you need to go and make the front little wider, you will add um, eight stitches on one side, eight stitches on the other side, so, so that means 16 stitches. So instead of 150 stitches that you would start with, you would start with 168. You can also, like I said, widen up the back, but in the back you would add always even number of stitches. That means, you know, by two. So if you want to add two stitches, you will go and have 152. If you want to add four stitches, then you will go and have 154 stitches total. Of course, that if you don't add anything in the front, the back would be a little wider, the front would be same. So you just go and adjust your width with the repeats or with the stitches in the back and you'll be fine. Uh, if you want to make the blouse shorter, you can go and have lower number of rows, uh, of the stripy rows. If you want to have the blouse longer, you can go and add more rows as well. Uh, I need 162 chain stitches. So I will make 162 chain stitches and you make a decision how how many chain stitches you need to do. This is going to be a very easy math for basically any chest size. So you just do your chain stitches and measure around your uh, chest, around your breast if it fits, and then connect it into a circle. Okay. So here I have 162 stitches, okay? But when I measured, it is too big and I need to scale down uh, 10, 12 stitches. I will go to 150 stitches, okay? So I will work with 150 stitches instead of 162. And we are going to connect it into a circle and make sure you don't twist it. So I usually run my thumb on the top of this. There we go. And then I go and place my hook into the stitch and crochet slip stitch. So now I'm in the first stitch. Now I will make three chain. And I will make, which is uh, considered double crochet stitch, and I will make 148 double crochet stitches all around. So one in each chain. Right, so I finished my uh, double crochet stitches all around and I checked, I counted, I have 150 of them. Okay, and they are, uh, and it fits around my chest and it also has a little ease to it as well. Okay, and now I will just connect it in my third chain stitch into a circle okay and we will do chain three and from now on we will do 
front post stitch double crochet front post and double crochet back post so we are basically setting ourselves up for few rows of front posts and back posts what is going to go and happen is this is going to be a band like a, a ribbing like what you see uh, in knitting when people do ribbing so this is gonna be our ribbing we will do front post in back post and we will repeat that all around now make sure you do have stitches that you can divide by two okay because you don't you don't want to end up you know if you would for example had 151 stitches you would go and end up in the end over here with uh, two uh either back posts or two front posts next to each other so make sure that you do have um even a number of stitches not odd number of stitches okay all right so when i am finished with this row i will connect it into my third chain stitch and the um these three chain stitches are gonna act as a back post so i should go and finish with the front post in my last stitch over here okay and so i will connect it and then i will start again with the front post back post front post that will be our third row and here i am coming to the end of the row this is my last stitch and just like i predicted we will have to finish with the front post and this is going to be acting as our back post okay so again one two three connect it into the circle and we will start again one two three and we will do again front post and back post and as we make a few more rows I still don't know how many rows I want you will notice that it will get it will shrink a little bit in if it lays flat it's gonna be less wide okay instead of being wider it's gonna be narrower a little bit because it's it's being elastic So here I am as you see I have 10 rows of front post and back post double crochet stitches okay and uh, right now as you see I have lots of markers in here and I got myself set up I got myself set up with back which is going to be I will continue with my front and back posts double crochet stitches then I will have a panel here in the front that is going to be a repetition of eight stitches. I will have in the middle a panel of uh, front and back post double crochet stitches. And here again on this side, I am going to have uh, the same pattern that I have right here. And as you see, uh, I have divided my... Uh, stitches in such way that I'm going to go and have so I will basically finish over here with my back actually over here is my seam right but I will finish my back with a uh, front post double crochet stitch then I'm going to go and make a fan of seven stitches and I will separate 
my other next fan with front post double crochet stitch and I will do the same thing fan double uh, front post double crochet stitch fan double front post double crochet stitch and I will go all the way to the middle here where I will have my front post and double uh, and back post double crochet stitches and then I will start repeating the same thing so I will again have my front post here front post here and in between I am going to have my double crochet uh, I mean a uh, fan I'm sorry okay and then when I'm finished with my next, then I will start again on my back over here with front post and double, uh, uh, front post double crochet stitches and back post double crochet stitches. Too many words. <laughs> uh, okay. On top of it, I want to start using a blue color. So I will basically make stripey top. And I will make as many um, as many rows as I need to, and then I will finish it up again with my front post, back post, double crochet ribbing here on the top. Okay, when I'm happy with the with the entire length. So we have to start with chain stitches. And I will give you actually a little, let me go and do, I want to go and take this stitch out actually. I want to pull the blue yarn through this. Okay, here. And I will tell you what I was doing. Okay, so I was actually, I, because these stitches were looking too long over here, three chain stitches so I went and I switched to two stitches only over here and then I would always add add my stitch into into right into where my front post double stitch is okay so like this okay and then i would go and <clears throat> then i would go and pull it through okay but we are going to go and do it with blue so we will connect our next row with blue okay all right and we like i said we are going to make two chain stitches instead of three because they are a little shorter since we go always a little bit lower with that double crochet front post double crochet stitch and back post double crochet stitch it sets us lower so that's why i started doing two chain stitches okay let me go and so i used two i used two um strings but two strands okay so i will like i said i will start with front post double crochet stitch okay and now in this in this one you see i have every eight stitches in here four stitch basically from my this uh from my uh front post uh, double crochet stitch i have it on the top over here and this one is gonna be my front post double crochet stitch okay and it alternates on top front post fan front post okay so i can go and take this one out And I will go and make my fan, which is three double crochet stitches. Chain one. And three double crochet stitches. One. Two. 
two, three. And now we will make again front post. Let, let's go and take this one out. So right here, what, we have to count one, two, three, four, right there. Here we will go and make a front post double crochet stitch. Okay, now we're here again. Next in a four, one, two, three, four in a four stitch, we are going to make a fan. Okay, and I will continue like this all the way to my marker here in the middle, right here, which I have a little bit differently, you know, marked with little circles. That's my middle. All right. And so when I am finished with doing these fans and front post double crochet stitches, I will go and show you how I will treat my uh, middle. So here I am finishing my last fan in my first front panel. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five of the fans in here. And we are going to be working now on our middle part. So we are going to go and make our front post stitch, front post double crochet. Now we will make back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and front post double crochet. I'm working with odd number of stitches so I always end up here with finish with a uh, front post and I will start my next panel again with front post okay we can go and take this one out too because we will definitely recognize our middle in the next row All right, and again, I will start doing my fan. As you see again, I have fan, front post, fan, front post, fan, front post, fan, front post, fan. And here I will start with my front post, back post, back, okay? So I will show you one more time my fan. And then I will continue one, two, three, four right here. And this one is going to be our first fan in the second, second uh, front panel. And then we will go and do a front post. And now we're ready to do our front post. Double crochet stitch, front post, double crochet stitch. And then again. And so I will go and have again five fans, okay? Always chain stitch in between those three double crochet stitches. Three double crochet stitches, chain, and three double crochet stitches. That's our fan. Mm -hmm. 
so here I am finishing up with my second panel of my pattern and I will be starting back we will be starting working on our back okay so we'll take this out and this is where we start on our back okay so uh, front post double crochet stitch back post double crochet stitch front post double crochet stitch back post oh. so when i am finished with my blue color i will connect it into the circle again at the end and beginning basically right with white and then i will continue with white yarn i decided that i want it stripy make it a little bit more interesting so i finished basically my last stitch of my back and this is my first stitch right here those two chain stitches you remember when i told you so that's my beginning okay however my back is um uh, shifted a little bit uh with you know to the to this side with two more stitches okay so what we need to do now is connect into the circle with white with white yarn and start a new yarn and again i will start with two chain stitches because we are doing the front post and it sets us lower like i said okay and now we are just going to continue with our fan so i will make a fan here so i will make three double crochet stitches chain three double crochet stitches and front post double crochet stitch in between the fans okay so it's going to look this way all right and again fan chain three double crochet stitches again we're finished with our fan and front post okay and i will continue like this all around when i get over here where is my middle here i will do my front back front back front posts i will do my other panel here and then the back again with my stretchy front post back post stitches okay and i will make several rows above each other and when i'm done i will show you what we will be doing about the uh ribbing above okay ladies and gentlemen did you see my uh, video when i was uh, wondering if i'm going to go and ha have enough yarn to finish this row well anyway so uh, here i am coming to the end of the row and let's go and see if i do need to uh, take the whole entire uh, row out or not okay and when I'm finished with this, then I will um, show you what I will be doing next. If I finish. <laughs> finish. <laughs> so 
wow look at this look at these ladies oh my gosh look at this look at this so what are we going to do hmm what are we going to do i'm going to go and take some of it out and make it a little bit tighter so i can really i can really make it work all right so here i am i am making my stitches slightly tighter and this is my second time that i'm working on my uh, last blue row and on my uh, front post and back post double crochet stitches and look at that just slightly uh, making it slightly tighter and i made it look at that <laughs> That's fabulous, right? Now we will be working on our white part. Okay. So let's make two chain stitches. And let's not forget this front post stitch, double crochet stitch. Okay and now actually we do need to start working again on our uh double crochets uh front post and back post double crochet stitches like we did over here but i think we probably should first set ourselves up with one more row of our fan stitches Okay, so I will make one more row of these fan stitches and then we are going to start working on our entire row of front post double crochet stitches and back post double crochet stitches. Here we are at the end of this row and we are going to start oh okay here we are that's the last stitch <laughs> okay and uh, we will start a new row and in this row we will start again doing here in the front our front post back post double crochet stitches so i will start with two chain over here we have that front post since we did front post now we need to do a back post so i will go into this stitch and i will go and make a back post next stitch front post back post we have over here a chain so we will just do regular double crochet stitch and this is gonna be a front post because this was back post this will become front post so we need to do a back post over here front post back post and again front post okay back post front post back post single crochet back post front post back post front post all right so and i will continue like this for uh, several rows i just have to get myself back into doing 
front post and back post just like we are here down here in uh, on the bottom so when i am finished with this row i will go and show you one more time how i am doing the next row and then you will probably be able to take it from then on and when we are finished with our uh, ribbing here on the top we we will need to add some straps okay because this is a summer blouse as you see i'm again at the end of the row and i will be starting new row so here is my chain two stitch that represents a double crochet stitch right oops i cannot get in there hold on one second let me go in here instead okay so we will do again two chains uh and then again we will do front post double crochet stitch back post double crochet stitch and i will continue with these front post and back post double crochet stitches again all the way to the end of my row and then i probably will do it maybe one or two more times probably two more times i don't want it too high in here okay so now we are all set up for front post back post ribbing so i finished my last row okay and i slip stitched it into the beginning and cut my yarn off and also i made after my initial pattern with the fan or shell stitch okay i made five more rows of front post back post double crochet stitches okay now i have 34 from here to here i have 34 front post double crochet stitches this is my middle and i decided that i will go and put a twist tie in here and i will tie it here in the front okay and those will be my uh, straps uh, so i counted 12 stitches this way 12 stitches just the front post stitches i'm not talking about the back post stitches okay so i, I counted 12 here and from here to here is also uh, 12 so basically i am uh, i divided my panels into uh, three panels okay and i and i marked my where i will be putting my twist ties over here twist ties or twist uh, strings how i am going to do these uh, twist strings i will take about 150 inches of the yarn of my yarn my white yarn okay i will cut 350 inches long strings okay okay here i have those three strings about uh, 150 inches long okay and i will fold them in half i will line up my ends and i will fold it in half okay let's go and smooth this out so we have a nice uh twisted tie and now i will go and make a knot over here And I will take my middle over here and I will put it around a doorknob and then I will go and twist 
the whole thing and then when I twist it I'm gonna go and put this into my blouse okay and make another knot so it's going to be about this long so if you want it longer you will need to make it more than 150 inches long uh, or you could you could also actually um, crochet your straps you don't have to do the twister you can crochet the strap instead okay but i'm going to go and work on this now so i'm going to i'm going to go to my doorknob okay here i am look look how nice and tight it is okay and it's getting unruly so we have to work very fast so i put my hook in here let me actually hold the hook it's gonna be a little difficult in here let me take this out i have to kind of manage somehow right and actually let me go and take this one this is our where i had it on my uh on my doorknob so we have to be careful so it doesn't so it does not tangle okay so now we have our both ends so i put one end through don't let the other end go because we need to have it twisted okay and stretch it stretch it stretch it all the way over here make sure that your string is nice so it doesn't twist just yet now let's go and tie this over here let's go and do a little better job here okay and now and now let it twist So that's my, that is going to be my uh, strap. That's one strap. So now I have to work on my other strap. And this strap is going to go through front over here. Somewhere here in the middle. And when I'm finished with my other, we will go and tie it, okay? And I think it's gonna be long enough. Okay, I'm going to go and make another one now. can go and put our second strap over here through the middle and when you go and put your blouse on you can decide where you will have your bow and this we need to make prettier because that's really ugly here and we, here we are we have straps for our blouse we need to weave in our end and uh, we're finished now we can just wear the blouse outside on the beach or on the town 
Okay, so uh, one more thing that you might want to do is sew in couple uh, bra pads, okay, on the inside of this blouse. The, these bra pads that I, I uh, took out of my uh, old bra, and that's what I'm going to go and sew in into my blouse, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, as much as I enjoyed making this blouse. Links for written pattern are going to be below this video. Don't forget to like it if you watched it and enjoyed it or if you crocheted along. I will appreciate any comments. Don't forget to share it with your family and friends. Subscribe to my channel if you didn't do so. Follow me on social media and you will see me another day.